Okay, today we'll bring you a piece of knowledge that all Bible readers should understand. From the 10th century until the 8th century before the Common Era, the Hebrew population in the Levant was divided into two separate political, cultural, and geographical regions. Israel in the lush northern highlands and Judah in the more forbidden southern highlands. During this period, two accounts of the history of the Hebrews were written, one in Israel and the other in Judah. There's a great deal of overlap in the events describing these texts, because we now know from modern archaeology that most prominent events in these accounts involving the enslavement of the Hebrew people in Egypt, their escape, and their generation's long journey to the Levant, they're not historical. So there must have been a pre-existing common narrative that both accounts were based on. Now, we're going to tell you about the documentary Hypothesis Theory. First off, what is a hypothesis? Now, a hypothesis is a supposition or proposed explanation made on the basis of limited evidence as a starting point for further investigation. So here we go. This theory says that the Pentateuch, or the first five books of the Bible, were not inspired by God. It states it was not written by Moses either during his lifetime. The theory says they were actually written by a conglomeration of at least four authors, editors, centuries after Moses' death. These authors wrote over a period of about 500 years between 950 BC and 450 BC. They compiled and edited various writings and they did not originate from the time of Moses at all. This theory can be traced back to at least as early as the 1600s when Thomas Hobbes, an English philosopher and political historian, first proposed the idea. Now the theory is based solely on the idea that since these appear to be different writing styles throughout the books, and even different names for God, such as Yahweh, Lord, Jehovah, Elohim, as well as God, given throughout the books. So there must have been different sources for the information that these authors used. These sources that are claimed to be used are mainly oral traditions that were passed down from generation to generation, including from other religions and over a considerable amount of time. The truth is, there is no real historical evidence that support the claims made. Those who support the documentary hypothesis theory itself generally suggest four specific sources for the authors, and they are represented by the letters J, E, D, P. The J source refers to an alleged Jehovah or Yahwehist source that was written in the kingdom of Judah by approximately 950 BC. The E source refers to an alleged Eloist source that was written in the kingdom of Israel, the northern kingdom, by approximately 850 BC. The D source refers to an alleged Deuteronomist source that was written in Jerusalem by approximately 600 BC. And the last one is the P source, and it refers to an alleged priestly source that was completed in Babylon by Jewish priests approximately 500 BC. Now, these allegations completely contrast the biblical claim that the first five books were authored by Moses by approximately 1400 BC. For the documentary hypothesis to be true, Moses could not have authored the books, nor could they have been completed anywhere near the time period spoken of in the books themselves. However, the Jewish tradition referred to Moses as the author of these writings. And this tradition was so strong that Jesus himself referred to it in Mark saying, and as for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses? And in Romans, the apostle Paul referred to the authorship of Moses of Leviticus when he said, for Moses writes about the righteousness that is based on the law. And further in Acts, Paul's message recorded by Luke states, Moses said, the Lord God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brothers. You shall listen to him and whatever he tells you. 
Don't forget the three witnesses, four including Luke, claim that Moses was the author of the first five books of the Old Testament or the Torah. So then what of the documentary hypothesis? Well, there are no clear examples of a text that includes early sources that prove this. Instead, tradition still holds the understanding that Moses wrote the books of the Torah during the time in which they were noted, approximately 1400 BC. They say while someone else, likely Joshua, may have completed the final chapter that includes the account of the death of Moses, their faith favors the united writing that has served as the foundation of the Jewish faith for generations. And for them, whatever authority the Bible has is not diminished by learning more about the authors who wrote it. But scholars contend the documentary hypothesis remains the most credible explanation for the Pentateuch. Now, here is the way I see it. Knowing about the authorship of the Bible does far less to distract from its authority than does knowing the scientific and historical errors and inconsistencies in it. And this is not a problem solved by pretending that parts of it were written by legendary figures such as Moses. <laughs>